Are you always on the lookout for new and creative di design trends? Well, our very own DIY princess Zoe wanted to bring the popular Swiss cross design trend to life in a great way with this morning's how-to so that you can add a few geometric shapes into your life. Have you ever looked at Pinterest and seen reoccurring themes? For the last couple of months, I couldn't help but notice a lot of pins featuring the Swiss pattern. It is a bold and clean symbol. Now, I love clean, strong patterns, and I think this is the perfect fit for my aesthetics. Today, I'm going to put my sewing skills to the test by taking inspiration from the Swiss pattern. So, I'm going to create my own Swiss pattern material to make a scatter cushion. For today's how-to, you will need fabric, a sewing machine and thread, one large potato, a pen and paper, a sponge, black fabric paint, a sharp knife, a pair of scissors, dressmaker pins and an iron. To start off with, we're going to draw our design onto a piece of paper. Make sure the design is the exact scale of your desired print and cut it out carefully with a pair of scissors. Cut the potato in half and place the paper cutout on top. The potato should make the paper stick naturally to keep it in place. Using the paper cutout as a template, use a knife to carefully cut into the potato and carve away a little at a time so that the paper area is left raised. This can be fiddly, so take your time. Once you've carved out your design, lay your fabric cover on a flat surface and dab the fabric paint onto your potato stamp using a sponge to ensure for full coverage. Place the fabric onto a piece of newspaper to prevent the paint from staining your work surface. This is the fun part, let the stamping begin. I'm only going to stamp the front part of my pillow and keep the back side clean, but you're welcome to play around. Arrange your design and press the potato stamp onto the fabric. Once completed, allow for it to dry. Once your paint is dry, apply a hot iron to seal the ink in. This will ensure that the paint doesn't fade when you wash it. Yeah. To actually make the pillow cover, we first need to sew two hems onto the shorter sides of the fabric. To get the correct sizing for your pillowcase, use an old one as a guideline to ensure that your new pillowcase fits snugly around the inner. Place the fabric right side up and fold it into an envelope to create the pillowcase. Make sure the fabric is lined up on either side and fits snug around the pillow. Then pin the two flaps of fabric together on either side. Once all your sides are pinned, all you have to do is sew in a straight line alongside all four edges. After you've sewn all sides, turn your pillowcase right side out through the open flap you have in the middle. Use a pencil to poke out the corners and that's it. All that's left to do is insert the pillow into the case through the open flap. And look at that. To make your own scatter cushion, it's quick, it's easy and so inexpensive. This can add a pop of magic to any dull area. To view more of our how-to videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any suggestions, head on over to our Facebook page and drop me a message.